everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. Today's tutorial is going to be, again, some recycling of objects that you have home, which are these little lids. So you can, these are uh, uh, milk bottle lids. You can use any kind of lids, the size you want. I think these are quite nice. They're about two inches wide, which make things big enough to make these little baskets. And here they are with a little bit of fabric. You can use tool, you can use ribbons, you can use uh, bows to embellish it. So this one is with um, fabric again. As well, fabric with a little lace and a little bow. I've put some chocolates in here and in here some little candies as well. It's really cute. This one was made with a jute rope. So anything will actually do. You could also use felt or maybe fun foam for this. Very easy. You will need hot glue. You will need as many lids like this as you need, the same size because we're going to stack them up. We're going to use also a little bit of masking tape, which is optional. You can use your hot glue, which is going to be very useful. Again, some ropes. You can use uh, felt, um, foam, fabric, anything you have home. Why not some tool, like I said, laces, all kinds of embellishments. And the candies, of course, of your choice. So. Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is put our two lids together. I'm just going to use the same color. And I like to use the masking tape. If you prefer to glue them down, uh, you could also do that. It's just that sometimes the glue seeps out and I think it's nicer just to do it with um, masking tape. So I'm going to cut enough to go around my two lids here. I'm going to stack them up nicely and start putting my masking tape in between. Be careful because they tend to do this, so it's not going to be straight. Just trying to align them as well as I can. And that's good. Okay, you don't need to color up uh, with paint because with the fabric you don't see anything unless it's really, really um, transparent, but honestly, for this kind of material I have here, I don't need to. And I'm going to cut a little bit of fabric. So I think I'm going to go again with the pink one. And I had these fabrics for a very long time. I've never used them, so I decided to cut them out. Now, using my stash, and I like the fabric because it's kind of fluffy. So I'm cutting a square because I want to go around. I'm going to do the same one as I did here. Really cute. So the right side down and we're going to use our hot glue and start putting glue inside here. So I'm going to be generous and I'm going to start putting my um, fabric inside here. Don't worry if the inside doesn't look great because we're not going to see it because we're going to be putting some candies or maybe flowers on top. And I'm just folding it to make it look nice like this. And the last one here. Also, I'm really being generous there. I don't want my fabric to go anywhere. And there you go. And if you really want, you could put maybe a piece of felt to make it neater. I don't really think it's useful. And now what we're going to do is use a little bit of this rope. You could use another kind of rope if, or some uh, tube, paper tube. You know, you can roll your paper and uh, make the handle. But I've got this big rope that I used in a previous uh, tutorial to make coasters. So I still have a big, big roll of it. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to try to measure and see how long or how short I want it to make it. I think it's not bad here. I'm going to cut it. And again, I'm going to verify if it's not too long. I think it's good. All right. I'm going to press down here. Put glue and directly glue it onto my fabric and hot glue sticks 
beautifully on fabric. All right, same thing on the other side. A bit more. Be careful not to burn yourself. Again, as I always say, if you young people are watching this video, please ask an adult to help you. I'm using my nail healer so I won't burn myself. All right, that's good. And now what you can do, like I have done here, is just use some flowers. So I've got paper flowers here, and I'm going to change the color. And they come uh, like this. I'll stack up together, and I think it's just nice. I'm not going to cut them down. Oops, this one is already cut down. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to flip the mop a little bit because they were scrunched in my box. Just going to fold this back so no one is going to hurt itself. And I'm going to put these flowers in here. So this can be nice. And I thought about this for Easter. I know that Easter is in a almost two months, but you can still prepare... Or this could be just nice on a little tabletop if you're having some friends over for a tea party. Look at that, how nice. And you know what? Um, spring is here, it's around the corner. It's about, it's in a month or so. So that could be nice also to celebrate spring. How nice is this? And also it's gonna let, let you some time. I could probably put this one on top too, just like that, yeah. To fill up, to fill up my little basket. Oh, look at that! How nice! And it's going to leave you some time to stack up your uh, bottle caps and ask maybe your neighbors if they have anything. Because look at this! Nobody would know these are lids. How cute! And for the decoration, I've got a few bows around here, so I could use another pink. This one is just the right color. A little bit of glue. And just here. If you don't like this, which I think is not that ugly, <coughs> I'm sorry, you could put maybe two more bows in a different color. Why not? Just to hide this. Yes, I'm going to use a lighter color. One little bow here. Taking away all the glue strings. And another one on the other side. I think I'm going to glue that um, flower. I don't like this one. Let me see. Do I have another pink one? There, just there. Yep. Yeah. Do I still have time to glue it down? Yeah, good. And there you go. How fast was this? So easy, so cute. You've got yourself a little basket with flowers to greet your friends or to celebrate spring or Easter. That's totally up to you. If you're not celebrating Easter, I think it's so cute. So now let's do this one because I think the others are exactly the same way. I've just added a little bit of lace here. And for this one, we're going to start exactly the same way. So I already did that. I already put some tape onto my uh, two lids here. And this time we're gonna start by the inside and that's what I have done here. So I'm again gonna use this one, same fabric. And this time I'm gonna make a square or you can make a circle that is bigger than this, but not as big as the one previously because we don't have to cover our whole, uh, all the lids here. We're just gonna cover the inside. So, I'm going to put this like this, and if it frays, really don't worry, it's not a big deal. So, not as big again. All right. Uh, no, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to just cut all these uh, pieces there. And we're going to put glue, and we're going to do this actually. We're going to cover the inside and a little bit of the outside. So we're going to be generous here. Put a lot of glue. And cover it up. Alright. 
Hold it in place for a few seconds. And I'm really, I'm not trying to be perfect here. I like the way, the natural way things go. And then we're going to put some glue here on the sides. And press down our fabric. We'll cut the excess off. Some more here. All right, and I'm pressing down so that my glue is not, um, doesn't have too many bumps, because hot glue is dimensional. All right. I can't believe how this fabric is fraying on me, but that's okay. Now we're gonna cut the excess off. And I really like to upcycle things because it's plastic. And you can reuse these little decorations for next year. You just maybe need to take away, I think the candies will go away. Look at these little cuties. I like, aren't they cute? And they, mm. oh, they taste good. Oops, I felt, mm, it go, mm, my goodness. I should do more of these. Uh, little goodies. Oh, yes. So this is the way it looks now. You could put maybe some more, but I think it's totally enough. And now we're going to take our jute cord. And this one is quite thick. So it's going to go very fast. And I'm going to start this time by putting the handle on. So again, I'm going to make it go a little lower. So I'm going to make it longer, actually. Okay. And we're going to put it on either side here. I'm going to open this a little bit. All right, glue. There. I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'll cut all these little pieces that are sticking out, but I'll do that after. I'll probably do that in the end. Okay, on the opposite side, that's good, all right, maybe I should do this on this color so you can maybe see it better, and just white on white, so that's good. Now we're going to take our rope. And the other end of my rope here is still on the spoil, on the spool, not spoiled, on the spool. And we're going to start, and we're going to cover up this piece, and we're going to start rolling. But I'm leaving a little bit of this uh, fabric seeing through. Can you see here? Okay, I'm not going to cover it up because I like the way it looks. So I'm going to start, where did I start? I'm going to start around here at an angle because I'm going to cover it up. I don't want to see my starting point. So, a little bit of glue. Just for the beginning, I'm going to hold it in place like this. Take all this away and I'm really going to start rolling now. So I'm going to put the glue directly onto my fabric actually. Okay, and I'm going to start putting my glue here and I prefer to work in sections I think it's easier than trying to put too much at a time all right and you're gonna do that around I'm gonna do the first two rows with you Okay, don't put too much glue, put enough but not too much because it's going to seep through or under. 
okay? And once I'm here at my, be at my start point, I'm going to start coming underneath. And there you go. And I'm really putting them two together so I don't see my fabric and I won't see the green part here. Okay, so I've reached the end now, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, before cutting anything, I'm going to see where I need to end before getting completely to the bottom. And I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting actually my rope like this onto an angle. So yeah, it doesn't look too harsh when it stops. Then I'm going to use my glue again and end up here. That's good. Okay, and anyway, you're really not going to see anything there. The only thing I'm going to add here is a little bit of felt. So I've used this base to cut out a piece of felt a little smaller or it can be just the exact same size, but just a little smaller. And the closest color I have is, is this brown, but you could use gray, you could use black. I'm going to use something a little dark, just because you might, you know, I think it's better than using white, but that's totally up to you. And I'm being generous here with the glue and putting my circle of felt just there. Pressing down, make sure it's really sticking to it really well. That's good. And if you need to trim a little bit off, that's good. You can do it right now. I think it's going to be fine, actually. I don't see it outside. And now you can trim off all these excess little bits and pieces coming out that are in the way. I like the natural look of jute, but I don't like when there's too many pieces coming out. That's good. Okay, and now again, you can decorate it as you wish. I have this little birdie, tiny bird that I like, and I think I'm going to put it here on the top. Yeah, I'm going to put it on top. A little bit of glue, and just here. For change so they don't all look the same. How oh, nice and it's so lightweight. And now you can put some candies so I'm going to use my little candies that I've got here and up you go. There look at that. How nice and of course you can decorate more. I think it's kind of enough but I might use a little bow here just there yeah no just there just a little bow you could add more but I want to concentrate on the candies you can, might put another one on the back of it too but look at that how nice is this I love it and all these little candies mmm one more so there you go. Again, you can make them in different sizes, in different uh, colors, with fabric, with uh, cord. It could be, of course, another color, and you could paint it if you want to. I like it when it's natural, really, because it goes with everything. A little bit of fabric. Use a little bit of felt if you don't have fabric to cover it up. That would look nice also because it's really um, flexible, so you can use it in um, instead of fabric. There you go. I think they're so cute. They can be different. 
And if you have different sizes, mine are kind of all the same size, but you can make very, very tiny one as well. So please, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you want to say in hello, I'll respond to you always. And also, please share on social medias. Mm. Oh, this is too good. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.